Hello, my friend. I'm so very, very happy and grateful that you could be back here again with me in the afternoon to spend some time being grateful together and giving thanks. you were able to watch my last video, which is a companion video to this one, you'll know I started out with some decorations and then a prayer by St. Richard and then some psalms about Thanksgiving and then some New Testament readings. So today, going to go a different direction and do it in reverse order. Start with some thanks and some thanks adjacent thoughts from the New Testament, then read two psalms, and then finish with a prayer with a little bit of gentle sound from the decorations. So I printed the um, New Testament verses. They're both from Hebrews. Paul's letter to the Hebrews. Out on paper. To get the paper sound. And then I'll flip through for the Psalms so we still get some page flipping sounds. But so from Hebrews 12, 28-29. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us be thankful and so worship God acceptably with reverence and awe, for our God is a consuming fire. And then Hebrews 13, 15, and 16. Therefore, Jesus, sorry, through Jesus, therefore, let us continually offer to God a sacrifice of praise, the fruit of lips that openly profess his name, do not forget to do good and to share with others, for with such sacrifices, God is pleased. I'll tell you what, I am very grateful for your patience with all the times that I made some mistakes reading. So I know this last verse didn't say thanks specifically, but I think our souls really go to praise and joy when we're truly grateful. And I think it is important that we remember not to forget to share and do good with others. On Thanksgiving and on all holidays and on every day. It's much harder to be unhappy when you're thinking about others and not yourself. And that's something to be grateful for. And I'm also grateful for all the times people have helped me. And they've been the ones to share and do good. And I've been the other. Alright. Let's dig into the book. I have to be even more gentle. Oh, the back's falling off. Let's see. Psalm 138, a prayer of thanksgiving. I thank you, Lord, with all my heart. I sing praise to you before the gods. I face your holy temple, bow down, and praise your name because of your constant love and faithfulness. Because you have shown that your name and your commands are supreme. You answered me when I called to you. With your strength, you strengthened me. All the kings in the world will praise you, Lord, because they have heard your promises. They will sing about what you have done and about your great glory. Even though you are so high above, you care for the lowly, and the proud cannot hide from you. When I am surrounded by troubles, you keep me safe. You oppose my angry enemies. You save me by your power. 
you will do everything you have promised. Lord, your love is eternal. Complete the work that you have begun. Just going to read the very first line again. I thank you, Lord, with all my heart. Such a nice way to start a prayer. Also, praising. All right. Come with me now. Take a little journey. Get to Psalm 147. All right. Psalm 147. In praise of God the Almighty. Praise the Lord. It is good to sing praise to our God. It is pleasant and right to praise him. The Lord is restoring Jerusalem. He is bringing back the exiles. He heals the brokenhearted and bandages their wounds. He has decided the number of the stars and calls each one by name. Great and mighty is our Lord. His wisdom cannot be measured. He raises the humble, but crushes the wicked to the ground. Sing hymns of praise to the Lord. Play music on the harp to our God. He spreads clouds over the sky and provides rain for the earth. It makes grass grow on the hills. He gives animals their food and feeds the young ravens when they call. His pleasure is not strong in horses. nor his delight in brave soldiers. But he takes pleasure in those who honor him, in those who trust in his constant love. Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. He keeps your gates strong. He blesses your people. He keeps your borders safe and satisfies you with the finest wheat. He gives a command to the earth, and what he says is quickly done. He spreads snow like a blanket and scatters frost like dust. He sends hail like gravel. No one can endure the cold he sends. Then he gives a command and the ice melts. He sends the wind and the water flows. He gives his message to his people, his instructions and laws to Israel. He has not done this for other nations. They do not know his laws. Praise the Lord. And you can see all these final psalms ending. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And go ahead and close this. 
I don't read my final prayer. I don't read it on the side of the page, but they I'm not marking it here for any particular purpose, in case you're wondering. This is a prayer for the nation, the nation being the United States. So, this Thursday, it's always the fourth Thursday of November, we'll celebrate Thanksgiving in the United States, and it became a holiday at the end of the Civil War, and Abraham Lincoln, President Abraham Lincoln, declared a day of Thanksgiving. Other countries have similar holidays. Canada does theirs in October. And I don't know all the other ones internationally, but I think it's always nice for us to give thanks. It's such a nice idea. There's so much good precedent for it. Okay. Anyway, this is a prayer for my home nation, the United States, on our day of Thanksgiving, and I invite anybody to use it or take it as it pertains to any nation or anything in your own life. So it says, Lord, we thank you for the goodness of our people and for the spirit of justice that fills this nation. We thank you for the beauty and fullness of the land and the challenge of the cities. We thank you for our work and our rest, for one another and for our homes. We thank you, Lord. Accept our thanksgiving on this day. We pray and give thanks through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And then normally at the end of the prayer, in Catholicism, we'd make the sign of the cross. In the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. And then at the beginning, too. But I'm not quite done yet here. I'm just going to move this real quick. And bring you so you can see just a little bit more. I really do hope. You have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I hope you have things in your life to fill your heart with gratitude. And if you're finding it hard to know what to be thankful for, then please know that I'm praying for you. You can always be thankful for pumpkins. Even if things are very bad, at least they're bad in the world with pumpkins and not without pumpkins. Perhaps many of us have had some times in life where we had to find really almost anything to be happy about or thankful for. So what might seem small to others might be a big deal to different people. But I really truly am grateful for anybody who's watched this video. I'm thankful to be somewhere with 
reliable internet and electricity, open access to YouTube and other websites, and to have a day where we can just be grateful. I'm grateful to the Lord for all he's given me. And for all he asks me to do. Though sometimes in the moment I'm not always that grateful, so plenty to keep working on. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving. I hope you find a little time to thank God and to praise Him. Make your soul feel good. seeing you soon.